I always wore my cross on TV, and even when I was on TV, but I didn't have that personal relationship with Jesus. I would, I would pray, and a lot of times my prayers wouldn't come true. I would be, you know, reactive praying, oh, I'd be in this situation or that, and please, God, get me out of this. And then to finally, when I finally did that on February 18, 2017, not too long ago, that full surrender to Jesus Christ, we're now having that personal relationship every day where, where Jesus, God is the chairman of the board at my pillow. I mean, he's chairman of the board. And to take him and use him in every aspect of my life, one of the things was for me to be proactive in prayer, if it's God's will, where's his will? It's in the word. So I try and stay in the word to be able, in the Bible, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that, to be able to proactively pray and then to have faith. I mean, the faith is where, you know, I can sit there for me. I'm, I'm a living testimony that, you know, here's my friends are going, okay, here's a guy, this ex-crack addict um, from, you know, from Minnesota sitting in the White House when I was by, invited there by the president to sit by him for the manufacturer thing. They're going, wow, Jesus is real. You know, Jesus is real because this couldn't have happened. Miracles with God, when they say God, with, I think they be, with God all things are possible, well, with God all things are possible. And that personal relationship, if you're out there now and you just do that surrender and that he died on the cross for us and, and it, to be able to have that relationship and know that he's there every day, it just lifts a burden off. People say, well, Mike, aren't you so busy all the time? No, I'm not. That's, you know. I have every, I love what I'm doing, and it's just uh, it's so rewarding, and so it just keeps going out further and further, and it is so rewarding to know that you have fulfilled what God shows you to do. As there was many times I over I would sit out and overlooked. I overlooked New York City once. I was there, and I go, why was I chosen? I feel so unworthy. You know, I felt so unworthy that I was chosen. Why me? Why not? You know, why not you?